for me, I just had to dive in. Like I knew about this learning all summer. I think I finished the class with Denise in like beginning of July. It really wasn't until the first day of school in August when I started recording my videos because I just had to get myself over that hurdle of hearing myself, of talking on my own in a room with nobody else around me. But once I got comfortable making the videos, just thinking ahead and sometimes I could make one or two videos together that built on each other, but it's just, it made me such a reflective teacher on what I was teaching them and having to make just a 10 minute at most video really focused. I would look through that lesson to pick that big idea because everyday math does a lot of it comes back and it brings in one problem from like a lesson ago. That wasn't the big focus. So really honing in and focusing that video on the big thing. And then I think it's just doing the best you can with it. Like my focus last year was making the videos and getting the kids to understand that rotation and then placing themselves and the student reflection piece, which when I was in the midst of it, didn't seem like I was doing a lot, but it really does now when I think about it, it's, that was, it was a lot of work but there were pieces that I wanted to make, like making a student math journal. You know, not just taking the everyday math pages and using those, but really making that fit what I wanted to do, whereas sometimes I know that I was fitting what everyday math into, I was fitting into everyday math more than I was making everyday math fit into what I wanted for the kids. So it's just, I think it's something you constantly improve with and constantly get better with because when I look at it back or when I would meet with the kids the next day, I'd go, oh, I need to do that better, make that different.